What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Blaze video. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's accomplishing the Dragon Blaze goals because that is what we are here for. We're on this journey together. Let me just kind of get this out of the way real quick. All right, so we have new events which I've already did some of those. We're gonna check those out real quick. I'm just kind of finishing up leveling up some of her her sections here. Kind of neat, trying to make her stronger and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, we have tons of cool new events. Hero gallery event, which is awesome. Make sure you're in the hero gallery so you can definitely get the hero cards appropriately for each of your heroes. Obviously, it already reset because it's a new month. So that's kind of neat on that. So awesome. So make sure you're doing that. Good way to get hero cards and resources and whatnot. Your Zodiac missions, make sure you are accomplishing your missions, your festival missions and all that stuff like that. You're going to get a lot of resources, especially through Caledon and also with the, with the uh, Infinity event, which I've already done that one. You'll get some resources through that and more. So make sure you are doing that. You're encouraging your event. Make sure you're encouraging your heroes each day. You only get to do it once. So make sure you do that. It's just a free resource. Definitely helps. Make sure you're doing your Caledon event. I've already did the majority of mine. Uh, you usually don't get to do these as much. They do charge very slowly. So make sure you do save up. I usually save up throughout the months and just let them sit there and just wait. Or I may use like 10 and then let it charge for later. It's just, just how it is when it comes to that. Um, your flower event, which is a really good one. I'm definitely going to be saving up. Um, probably sometime within the next couple of days, I will be spending. So I'm going to keep saving up for that. So make sure you are doing that as well. Uh, Katarina Dice event, which is super exciting. You get, you get a lot of cool resources from this, as you see here. So it is very awesome that you do um uh, partake in this event probably within the next couple of days or so like within a week because you know you get the dices from challenger dungeon so make sure you're kind of waiting on that and participating here it is so much fun doing this event and it's going to support her and everything else very well and obviously our infinity event which you enhance your heroes and also you get more magnifying glasses and potions for Kalarina to get her to her next level we'll be getting third impact soon once i get her to level 100 we're close we're like 92 ish so you know we're getting there and then your trace investigation as well you get a lot of resources a lot of magnifying glasses just doing cool things to help you get with with this with this event if you haven't already got a lot of it through so that's kind of cool a lot of awesome events here um so today's video is going to be about what things you could use for like each setup of like whatever particular character um, what type of heroes that you're using. I think I've done one of these in the past before. It's been a long time, so I want to kind of get a different update on it. So also kind of, I, I might try to add runes in here too if we have the time. But yeah, so it's kind of cool. So obviously all my warriors have different ones. I would just speak about each one. I'm not going to go through each one and suggest things when it comes to like each section. You know, you kind of want to have different variations of whatever you like that's why you have six slots for each so basically you know for your warriors it's always good to have and eventually i will obviously i will definitely change these eventually uh, but eventually um you definitely want to have like red physical attack for sure like down here they do change colors you know some of them are yellow some of them are red and then you have white white being the lowest um yellow being the, the medium and red being the high. So, and it does take a lot of jewels, especially ultimate jewels to get the right ones based on if you're lucky or not. If you're lucky, it ain't gonna take you that long. If you're unlucky, it is gonna take you a while. So it's always good to have like max, like physical attack, max crit when it comes to that as well. That's kind of what you're looking for. Um, you know, like your jewel setups, you know, max attack speed when it comes to these guys, max accuracy, which is very, very good. Um, some cooldown reduction is not too bad. You could have that. Uh, you could have reduced damage as well. That's, I mean, that does help. The more, less damage you take, the more damage you're going to give out to them based on your, your stat setup. 
There's all kinds of different effects that you could use, but with your dual warriors and your warriors, it's kind of going to be the same. You know, I'm going to add basically these these two guys together. You see it right here. See, so see what red says invasion. You wouldn't have that for them, but that's just an example for like a red stat. I don't have like any yellow ones. Um, definitely for them, um, critical critical damage attack speed is definitely what you want to have. Yeah, you know, for your for your warriors. Now, obviously, you can't have all of those probably. So different ones, you know, physical attack here, crit here. You know, for your blue, you can have you know your STR or you know anything of that nature to help because that's part of your main stat. So you can have you know plus whatever HTR, and then you know for your purple side, you can have you know receive damage or reduce damage or invulnerability, invasion. You can also have increased healing. Like it just depends on what, what you want, but definitely for these two, you want to be aggressive. And even for your archers, like they kind of they kind of fit in the same style. So they're gonna be a little different. You know, for them, you're gonna have obviously DEX. You either want to have your melee attack or physical attack. That's the same thing for warrior and dual wielder. But for them, you definitely want some ranged attack too. So you have so many different, you have six here where you can kind of complement all of those things into one. So one side can be, you know, melee, which obviously is gonna be for your warriors and your dual warriors. That's gonna be your, your melee portion right there. And then your physical can also be for your warriors as well. For your archer, you definitely just wanna have like ranged attack and physical attack. You wanna have those for sure and some of these or most of these so you can actually increase your percentages when it comes to that um obviously invasion i mean that can be good too you can work it however you want to you can have invasion you can have increased accuracy i prefer to have increased accuracy because you want to make sure you actually hit um your enemies here because their invasion can be sometimes just the most brokenest thing you've ever seen ever so your accuracy can be uh, very good to have you know receive heal can be very good too your immunity, like it's just all kinds of cool things you can have. Uh, here's another red stat right here. That's, that's 110 right there. Physical attack, which is very good. Then plus on immunity and STA, which this is not needed. I just kind of threw them in here. I have to actually readjust all of my settings and then obviously minus 30% receive damage. So you can kind of have all those things kind of mustered in together. You kind of have all the best things, you know, very offensive, a little bit of defense, a little bit of invasion, a little bit of accuracy increase, and you can kind of have all of that really for for your warriors, dual warders, and archers, honestly. I mean, it just depends on what you want, but make sure you have their main stat down here as well. We're kind of just talking and going through, but, you know, those three right there will have similar setups, similar, except for your archer, you want range. You know, your warrior and dual warders, you want to have melee and physical. Same thing with your archer, you want to have physical as well. Because, I mean, you're, you know, you're doing ranged and physical, you want to have both of those. That way, you can have everything on both axes. So, basically here, when it comes to those three, you want physical damage, physical, melee, ranged, crit, accuracy. You can have immunity if you want to, you can have reduced damage, you can have healing, you can have STR. Uh, not, uh, well, well, not, well, no, D, yeah, yeah, STR and then DEX. It just depends on the setup you want after that because you definitely want to be aggressive and make sure you're doing the most damage. So it's really what you want your team to be, but that's kind of like some of the guidance things there when it comes to like those particular classes and what you could be looking for, but not like entirely. Uh, priest, now, obviously for here, it's kind of sub, it's kind of uh, self-explanatory here. Here, you definitely want um, invasion, uh, increase uh, evasion, uh, NIT, because NIT also help with priests as well because they're they're also magic. So you definitely want that. Um, you want definitely magic damage, and either um, you can either your magic damage. You can also have accuracy. You can also have um, increased healing. You can also have invasion. You can, as well so and you can also have cooldown so there's a lot of things to unpack here when it comes to your mages because you want to make sure that they heal for a whole bunch also reduce damage also not getting hit so for them it's actually quite simple when it comes to your setup definitely like i said you want to have increased healing magic damage if you want um invasion your accuracy could be good reduce damage just definitely like all out 
having that that would definitely help for sure and, and then cool down if you cool down induction as well you cool down speed so <clears throat> i'm used to playing league of legends the uh, cdr cool down reduction so um but when it comes to that that's definitely kind of what you want and you can you know uh, add anything else after that like right here minus 50 percent received damage that's actually a lot um i can get it higher i can also just get the red version which would be a lot higher but that'll take some time you know and you only get jewels through the jewel sanctuary and sometimes other areas as well in the game depending on what they want to give to you so it definitely depends on um your luck and stuff like that but when it comes to to the healers that's pretty much what you want to aim for and you can kind of throw your own customizations in there too this is just suggestions this is not 100 percent what you should be doing but it's a good direction to head into that road uh mages same thing you want to have um increased critical uh accuracy uh magic damage uh nit and then you can either have you know um minus received damage which is also very good like that's just really good overall uh, receive damage you can have immunity you can have invasion you can have all of those things because they're all going to be similar in some way like here you know i have 16 invasion 16.5 invasion plus healing receiving healing like you can have all of those things to fill in your extra slots so you can kind of have additional abilities and skills based on what you're aiming for so it's kind of good to have a variety of like all kind of things, but make sure you have your main things as well. So that's kind of cool right there. And then obviously some immunity would help 100 plus percent magic attack. It can probably get higher, but that's another red stat right there. So accuracy, accuracy. I have to go and mess with these. I kind of just threw them in there just to kind of get them done. I've had them for a while. But yeah, your mages is, uh, your mages is uh, self-explanatory. Now when it comes to your, your rogues, uh, pretty much same thing. You want to have lots of physical attack, melee attack, uh, DEX as well, accuracy, and then you can have reduced damage, you can have increased healing, you can have increased invasion if you need to, but you definitely want to have physical, melee, accuracy for sure, and then your main stat always and then you can kind of go around and do other things you can have critical as well which is definitely recommended critical uh receive healing you know critical for a 43.5 here minus uh 60 receive damage plus 60 melee attack and str Th that that should be dex that would be a perfect example of what it should look like or might what you might want that's perfect that, that's actually really good it can go higher but i'll i'll, I'll just leave it um that's that's awesome phone's ringing um so that's actually pretty cool when it comes to that and then your accuracy and sta so you definitely want to have different stuff there when it comes to uh that stuff so i would say that would be kind of what you're looking for um and you can like i said you can mage it you can do all kind of things you want to merge and do what you want it's just my just my examples of what you should be looking for uh and then for your paladin Uh, for your paladin, you should definitely be having similar setups. So when it comes to them, um, you want to definitely have immunity, um, immunity invasion, reduced damage, increased healing. If you go on like a, kind of like a tanky type of setup, you can have physical damage. You can have melee damage if you want. You definitely want to have STR because it is their main stat. Or you can have something else. It doesn't have to be that way. Like minus 80% received damage. That's quite good. And then you have your accuracy, you know, your critical. You can have that if you like. Your melee, um, your receive healing. But you definitely won't receive healing, reduce damage, invasion, accuracy, and stuff like that when it comes to these guys. Because they're your paladins. You know, most cases they're kind of like tanks sometimes. Paladins don't do extraordinary amounts of damage. So you kind of want to have them kind of like in that territory. Like, hey, I want you to live. So we're going to give you some cooldown cool, cool down speed, some immunity, some receive healing, some reduced damage, uh, invasion, and maybe some melee, maybe some physical. You know, we're kind of going to throw you over that way in their main stat. So, you know, it's kind of cool that they have stuff like this. We'll probably do ruins probably next, actually, since I didn't get to fit that in. I try to keep this video kind of um, 15 or so minutes. So... Uh, that's definitely when it comes to that setup, you know, you kind of want to focus on those things and they kind of throw your awesome 
suggestions in there as well. So that's actually kind of neat if you want to follow that. That would be kind of cool. Um, and then your canters. Your canters are being like your boosters. Like they boost like your stats and your abilities and stuff like that. And they can also deal damage. So when it comes to encanters, you can kind of do the same thing like you did with your mages because they, they do magic damage. So you definitely want to be able to do the same thing there. Like this is actually a pretty cool example right here. Uh, plus 50% magic attack, plus 66% critical. DEX needs to be NIT. And then this right here is 1.2. 9% cooldown speed. So that, that's kind of a cool example right there. The critical you don't have to have if you don't want. You can kind of have them have like invasion or immunity and, or accuracy if you need to, but you can throw crit in there because you have five others that you can that you can accommodate what you truly need. So you can kind of sprinkle that in there if you want to. And then, you know, right here, the physical attack can go to magic, that can go to NIT, then the plus nine immunity can stay, and then the attack speed, you don't need that. Also for your archers, and you know your dual builders and your warriors attack speed is also very critical too so you can add that as well to that to their lineups make sure you do do that and then i mean there's just so many things you can do receive heal i mean they your encanters your mages can have your same setup of lineup as well when it comes to that it's just, it's just what you want your your heroes to do really but this is just kind of like an example and a rundown of kind of what direction you might want to go into so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope this video does help in some way <clears throat> you know my job is to not my job but my duty is to make sure i give you guys decent content the best way i can explain it to you but i hope you like it i will also like if you comment subscribe and let me know what you think that i can do more if you subscribe, great. If you don't, hey, no big deal. I appreciate you coming by to the channel and checking out the video. But until next time, as always, I will see you for the next one. Peace.